Hello, my name is Tedge and I'm a senior registrar in obstetrics working in West Yorkshire. This short video has been made to emphasise the disproportionate effect that COVID-19 has on women from a black, Asian or minority ethnic background and how we as clinicians need to play our roles in addressing this disparity in our everyday work. Evidence has long shown that maternal and perinatal mortality rates are significantly higher for women of a BAME background than they are for white women. Public Health England's recent report also suggests that death rates involving COVID-19 disproportionately affects those from a BAME background. To put this objectively, women from a BAME background make up more than half of pregnant women admitted to hospital with COVID-19, and this number is 56% to be precise. Asian women are four times more likely than white women to be admitted, and black women are eight times more likely to be admitted. This suggests significant differences in, in terms of proportions of women that we see um, from a BAME background. And this is something that we need to take very seriously. The reasons for this is at present unexplained. And that makes it very difficult to target any specific interventions, but rather for the time being, increase our vigilance with women um, from a BAME background so that we can be prepared rather than being reactive. And this is something that we all need to take collective responsibility for. In addition to the increased risk, the way in which we work has also changed dramatically over the past few months, and this adds to the situation that we find ourselves in. For example, we have significantly reduced the number um, of face-to-face -face appointments to allow for control of the virus. However, this has inadvertently also reduced the opportunity to see women who are at higher risk from COVID-19. This has been compounded by the fact that many women have expressed a fear of attending appointments and presenting at hospital with pregnancy concerns since the COVID-19 pandemic has struck. Voluntary organisations are reporting many myths and false information that is circulating in communities that may deter women from attending or even contacting their maternity service. If we think about the cultural diversity in addition to this, it becomes even more worrying that women may not be seeking help when they need to. So the question is, what can we do as clinicians to help ensure safe outcomes for women under our care? First and foremost, all women from a back BAME background should be identified as being at increased risk of becoming unwell with COVID-19 and booking, and an appropriate plan of care should be provided throughout the pregnancy and the postnatal period. As with all risk factors, not all women from a BAME background will be at equal risk. Some women who are living with socio-economic deprivation, in crowded conditions, those were born outside of the United Kingdom and don't have English as their first language, including those with a high BMI and or underlying medical conditions, will be at particularly high risk. And that risk profile needs to be individualised to each woman. All clinicians should, be, should ensure that ethnicity is recorded in the woman's records and have a lower threshold to review admit and consider multidisciplinary escalation in women from a BAME background. As an at-risk group, appointments for women of a BAME background should be prioritised, along with other women at particular high risk, both virtually and face-to-face. -face. Each contact that we have with women as clinicians, we need to use that opportunity to inform them about COVID-19 and what measures they can adopt to prevent it. What are their individual risks based on their ethnicity and health conditions? We need to recommend and ask women if they are taking vitamin D. And we need to reassure women that maternity units are safe places and not to delay reporting any concerns that they have about themselves or their babies 24 hours, seven days a week. We also need to have a lower threshold for referral and admission for women of a BAME background and other high risk groups. And lastly, we need to ask women that if they do have a COVID-19 swab taken in the community setting, that they should contact their midwife or their maternity team and advise them so that a plan of care can be undertaken for them. Thank you for taking the time to listen and I hope that with increased awareness we can work together to help ensure safe outcomes for mums and babies under our care. Thank you.